All right, let's bring in a former teammate of both of ours. It's Greg Camarillo, also a player under Tony Sperano. One of the uh, big parts of getting the one victory for 2007 that Miami had there, the big catch, touchdown catch, and then in 2008, the complete turnaround of the season where the Miami Dolphins ended up winning the AFC East over the New England Patriots. It was the first time a head coach had turned it around from a one-win season to a playoff team. Greg Camarillo joins us now. Greg, what's up, pal? Good morning, fellas. It is a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be on with you, but I have to tell you, it's tough getting my introduction as the member of the one win team just seconds after SP talks about he was the captain of the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the no win team, isn't it, Greg? Oh, way better. Way better. How did this news of Tony Sperano passing hit you? Hard. Um, because he's so young, you know, a 56 year old man and to hear of an unexpected death, um, it hurts. And then, you know, I haven't, I haven't been in contact with him recently, but uh, from my years in Miami, uh, I had a good relationship with him and, and particularly with his family. And, you know, that's, that's who you think of most in these situations are the people that um, get hit the hardest. And he, he always had his family around and always had a wonderful family. So um, it's tough, tough news to hear. What kind of coach was he? A tough coach. Yeah, just um, a yeller, a screamer, a motivator. Um, and he was the first of that type that I had. So it took me a while to get adjusted to the Coach Perano style, but um, he did a heck of a job of, of, of uniting a team, you know, to go from uh, one of the worst teams in NFL history and then they hire him to create that change so fast. Uh, you know, it just speaks to his ability to motivate, to bring, to bring guys together. Um, and then we went from one win to 11 wins, which was the greatest turnaround in, one, uh, in NFL history in one year. Um, and it was mostly in part due to him, you know, to get the right pieces in place and get us all focused on a common goal together. It was, uh, it was quite the work of a coach. What did you guys think when he said, we're going to run this wildcat offense? Did everybody immediately buy in or did you think this dude is nuts? This isn't going to work. It was, it was about 50, 50 or so. We were, uh, we were Owen two, and we were going up to play the Patriots. And, and here we are with watching some old film from Arkansas. That's who, who used to run it. I don't know. We were looking at it like, first of all, we're going to. Why not give something a try? We're going up to the Patriots. Um, there's no better place for for it to pull something out than, you know, against Belichick. And Ronnie Brown was the perfect guy to run it. You know, you've got a, a great runner, uh, a guy that can throw. He's athletic. He's smart. Uh, so we had full trust in him. But I would say going up there, we had no idea if it was going to be a great success or like a terrible flop. So we were going to make Sports Center on highlights or we were going to make the not top 10. Uh, for looking like fools, but fortunately it, it worked out well. And um, as you guys know, there's no better look than to see across the field Belichick in a headache, frustrated, trying to figure things out. Greg, thanks for the time today, and sorry about the passing of one of your former coaches, bud. Cool, I appreciate it, brother.